Have you noticed that you, <coughs> when you, uh, sorry, when you watch a movie, you find yourself identifying with a certain character? There's always one person in the one character in the movie that you're watching that you feel attracted to, that that you see yourself in. So. <clears throat> when people look at the picture of Jesus, you know, when he came into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey and all the people were throwing their palms and stuff on the floor and bowing and singing Hosanna and whatever. Who do you uh, identify yourself with? You know, think, think of that for just a few seconds. Okay, <laughs> enough time. It actually happens in an instant. It's your first feeling. You know who I <laughs> um, identify myself with? I'm the donkey. Really. I'm the donkey in that picture. My name is Leonard. Like Bernstein. Leonard Bern. Like Leonard. You know, L -E O N A R D. My name is Leonard. But I also have Hebrew eyes because I read the Hebrew language and you read the Hebrew language from right to left. <laughs> when you read my name from right to left, you end up with Dra Noel. So Dra in Afrikaans is to carry and Noel, we all know who Noel is, you know, the donkey of Jesus. <laughs> That's who I am in that picture. I pro Guys, I'm really like a donkey. Ask my mom. I'll give you her telephone number and you ask my mom. I'm like a donkey. I'm addicted to, you know, to food, to grass. <clears throat> I'm a smoker, you know. I'm an addict. Really, I am. I'm addicted to, I'm a donkey. Look at a donkey, he's addicted to grass. You go, ah, doesn't matter if you give him something I go I'm, I'm like that you know and uh, I got a thought in my mind earlier on that uh, and I wrote it down let's see how it worked out so it's, it's titled with addicted to God if you are not an addict then you are a poor being <laughs> if you are not addicted to God then you are missing the greatest trip of them all. Let me, let me tell you how I have defined the habit, the bad habit of smoking for the last many, many years already. I pray 20 times a day. Who of you non-smokers, physically, mentally and in a quiet place, pray 20 times a day at work I do that because every time I go for a smoke I speak with my Heavenly Father it's my time with Him I once read um, about, uh, about um, a master, a teacher, a wise man who had two students and the one student came to the master and he said uh, master, can I also smoke when I meditate? Because that guy over there, he, he smokes while he's meditating. And the master says to him, no, you can't. He says, but why is he allowed to smoke and I can't smoke while I meditate? And the master said to him, he meditates when he smokes. And you want to smoke when you meditate. That's why you can't smoke. That's why he can smoke. And my smoking time is my prayer time yeah it's the offering I bring to God it's the smoke that I send up to him this body means nothing this body is kept by him I went for a um, I've been smoking on and off since since I was 18 years old you know and because I work in a hospital it's very easy for me to go and check anything that I want you know for free <laughs> And I went for a, a lung examination a year ago. So, you know, you do a lung test. You blow in a thing, you know. And I speak with this doctor daily and he drives into the garage and he sees me uh, praying outside, you know. 
with a cigarette. And he did the test and he said, no, Lenny, we have to do it again. And I said, oh, Brady, why? He says, yeah, he says, no, I think there's something wrong. You're a smoker, aren't you? I said, yeah, yeah, I love smoking. He says, no, we must do it again. I think there's something wrong with the machine. So we did it again and he got the same answer from the machine, you know. He says, this is really strange because I know that you like smoking. He says, but you have the lungs of a healthy person. There's nothing, there's nothing that... Uh, that um, goes in the direction of damaged lungs, you know. Why? Because I have turned smoking into my altar, into the time I take for God. You know, because what I realized long ago already is no one is good. No one is good. It depends on what you do with the bad of who you are. So if you have an addiction, you know, like you like chocolates or... Then use your chocolate times to speak with your daddy. Enjoy your chocolate. And, so, and change that addiction to chocolate into addiction to God. That's how we get addicted to God. Have you seen a little lion? A little lion you know? He's addicted to his parents. He walks over them, he, he bites their tails, you know, and then he hangs on the daddy's lip, and then he pulls his ears, and then he falls over him, and then he jumps on him, and then he's addicted to his father. And that is what Jesus is saying. He says, if you don't become like little children, little children are addicted to their parents. <laughs> God wants us to become addicts of him and I am one of the first addicts of God. 